everyone, welcome to Room 217 News, your place to find out everything going on in our school and in our classroom this week. Um, I just wanted to do um, a quick reminder before we get started with the announcements um, that in order to be kind of present for school, um, a the new district-wide attendance, attendance policy does state that students will need to make their best effort to be on every Zoom meeting that we have for live um, synchronous instruction and to complete all the assignments on Google Classroom um, that are posted for the day. Um, so doing one or the other does not suffice being counted present for the day. So please try to make your best effort to do both. Um, you have all day to do them. Um, you don't have to do it at a specific time. Um, of course, you have to come to the live meetings at the specific times. But the assignments on Google Classroom, you have all day to complete um, and into the evening to complete. Um, but they just have to be completed by the end of the day. Uh, I just wanted to send that reminder to you. Um, also, Ms. Jones has sent home um, some permission forms with all the families in our class. Um, please sign and return those forms as soon as possible. Um, she does need them on file to complete some of her assignments. And whether or not you're going to answer yes or no to the questions asked on the form, we do need all the forms back so that we have your answer on file. Um, Valentine's Day is coming up on um, next Sunday. And I do know... Um, that the way we're doing it this year is a little bit different. Um, I sent home that information on Friday via Class Dojo, um, and I know that it's a little different, and I know that it's really not ideal, um, but as a school, we just felt that that was the safest way to do Valentine's Day this year. Um, so just a reminder, um, you're going to send in an unopened box of valentines or bag of treats and then your student will get to wash their hands and disperse those to the different bags for all of our students um, in our class um, but we are going to avoid opening them at home and writing names on them or anything like that um, just to avoid contamination of those valentines and like I said I know that that's not ideal and even for me that's not the most ideal situation but I think as a school we just decided that, that was probably the safest way to do it this year um, and maybe the most practical way to do it instead of just canceling Valentine's Day altogether. Um, if you are interested in sending in some kind of special snack or treat in addition to the Valentine's next week or the week after that, um, please let me know. We'll be glad to take anything that's store-bought and pre-packaged as like a special treat to help celebrate the occasion. So if you're interested in sending in any kind of extra treat for our class, just let me know and we'll, we'll talk about it and um, we'll decide a date that works the best. Um, finally, bus driver appreciation is this coming week. Um, we are going to be writing cards at school as morning work um, to our bus drivers. But if you would like to send in any additional treat that's store-bought and pre-packaged for your bus driver, I'm sure they would be um, really happy and really excited to receive an extra treat of appreciation from families. Uh, so I just wanted to throw that out that bus driver appreciation week is this coming week. Um, let's head over to our superhero week, superhero of the week wheel to see who this week's winner is. Congratulations to the pizza! And the pizza is Braxton. Braxton has done a fantastic job learning 100% remotely in our classroom this year. He has gone above and beyond to make sure that his assignments are done in Google Classroom and he attends all the Zoom meetings. Um, he is doing a fantastic job and he is very deserving of Superhero of the Week. So congratulations Braxton um, for being this week's Superhero of the Week. We're excited to celebrate you this week and all your hard work and your accomplishments in our classroom. A big shout out to everyone and all the hard work that you're doing. Everyone in my classroom is deserving of Superhero of the Week, so stay tuned. Maybe you will be the Superhero of the Week next week. Coming up next is Curriculum Corner, where we're going to cover all of the things that we're going to learn in our classroom this coming week. Welcome to Curriculum Corner, where we're going to cover all the standards and activities that will be covered in our classroom this coming week. In math, we are starting area and students will be learning how to find the area of quadrilaterals using square units, length, and width. 
in reading, Miss Jones is actually taking over our full reading block this week, and she is going to be teaching finding the main idea of nonfiction texts. We will be working on identifying the main idea and the supporting details that help prove that that is the correct main idea for the passage or the story. In writing, we're continuing our nonfiction writing unit where students have selected animals that they are interested in, passionate about, or want to know more about, and they are going to be beginning um, the idea of researching and what can we use to research, and then by the end of the week, we'll be completing some research of their own on the animal that they chose to pick and to write about. And then finally, in science, it is our final week of human body, and we are actually going to dive into how our muscular system and our skeletal system work together in order to help our body move. So it should be a really fun week in science this week as well. Well, if you have any other questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to reach out to me. If not, we'll see you right back here next week for another episode of Room 217 News. And go Chiefs! <laughs> See you later, everyone.